Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Pan's Labyrinth, which is directed by Guillermo del Toro. I think I pronounced his first name right. Anyways, it's not necessarily scary, but it kind of has this, I don't know, spooky ass vibe that I kind of like. So it's about, like, during, I think during this war, I can't exactly remember, where, anyways, the beginning mentions a tale of the king and queen of the underworld, and they have a daughter who is very curious about what is above ground. So one day she escapes her home, goes up these winding staircases, until like there's like this hole and then there's like these stone steps going all the way around to the bottom that makes any sense. She uh, gets to the top and eventually dies. Um, but her soul doesn't. And there's legend of, I mean, in uh, I mean, Daenerys says, there's a legend of um, her soul entering into another child, or a child is being a, re a reincarnated um, version of her. One day she'll return to the underworld and be reunited with her parents. Anyways, it turns out um, there's this Spanish girl with her asshole, abusive, crazy, uh, Colonel of a dad and stepdad that I can't remember which. Um, and then Mother they go to his outpost where um, the soldiers are facing a group of rebels. Uh, basically, one day she won on the way to when they're driving there. They have to get a car because mom son gets car sick. She walks a little bit. Um, away from them, finds a piece of this, like a statue, and a piece of it's fallen off. She finds the remaining, um, the piece that fell off on the ground, picks it up and puts it back in. After that, this thing that looks like a bug, which is apparently a fairy disguised as a bug, I'm pretty sure it flies out of, um, the eye socket of the statue, follows her, then there's this guy, well, not guy, there's this, um, creature called Pan. I think it's uh, yeah, a, goat, a goat kind of creature. He's pretty old, a spirit of the earth. He tells her that she is the daughter of the king of the underworld. She has to do about this many tasks in order to, you know, just fully confirm who she is, who he thinks is, and just be reunited with her family. And she has, like I suggested, free task on them is there's this tree stump, or this tree where a huge ass frog is lying in the trunk. He is just sucking, he's just taking away all the nutrients of the tree, and she has to shove something in the frog's mouth. He dies, turns inside out. It's really fucking gross. Then there's like a key. Inside his stomach, she gets this all slimy and cool and stuff. Then the next thing she does is go... Basically, uh, he gives her a piece of chalk. She draws a door um, with it on this concrete wall. Goes in, there's this creepy-ass creature that is really tall, just completely albino. Um, has hand, I mean, has eyes on either side of his hands. There's, like, he's sitting at one chair at the very end of this long-ass table. There's a lot of food lined up. And there's murals of him eating the children because they took some of the food. And apparently that makes him be able to sense them. She gets a grape. Just she's like, oh, just one grape, but wakens him. He eats the fairies that um Pan sent with her to just come to her on the thing. 
she gets a key, Pan's reasonably mad because, well, the fairies had to get, well, the fairies were sacrificed. Well, I think one of them survived, just their two, excuse me, two were eaten, he's obviously really, really pissed. Um, he's like, you're definitely not the daughter of this royal underworld family, I mean, when be as reckless, anyways, he gets all mad. He doesn't come back, and basically, he's like, he basically reconsiders it, and he's like, okay, now you need to take a child that, yeah, a mom, um, her mom got, was pregnant, um, whenever day it went to outpost, she gave birth, and he wanted her to take the child, the boy, bring, uh, him back to the labyrinth, take a knife that he gives her, and to stab him, stab the baby. Um, she obviously doesn't do that. I think she gives the baby back to uh, dad, who um, sees her escaping with the baby. Um, you know, just chases, chases her. Um, there. I think she puts the baby down or something like that. He shoots her. I mean, I really wish that didn't have to be, um, the way she gets your knife your family to be fucking shot, um, by her dad, who is just a complete, just really aggressive, just uh, not very nice, kind of a fucking bigot. Anyways, yeah, there's that, um, he shoots her, which... I, I mean, I guess, obviously, she's mad that she took child, but then again, she's a kid herself, like, maybe 12 years old. Anyways, it's kind of graphic. She collapses the floor, blood spills out of this poor girl. Life drained from her eyes. Um, She uh, wakes up, and she's reunited with her family. Basically, Pan was like, Congrats, you passed the last test. Um, you were given the choice of sacrificing the baby, but because of the goodness and just innocent soul you have, you wouldn't you wouldn't do it. Um, something like that. Just a test. Kind of reminds me of the biblical story. Uh, I forgot. I mean, I should on a biblical story where um the guy brings his sun up to the slab where um he uh, makes him lay down ties him up i think then he takes a dagger and he's about to stab his son when the lord's like no don't do it don't touch my child like that's so like that sorry i should okay anyways Reminds me of that kind of, um, since, you know, she does everything the guy asks, but she doesn't go through with it. Obviously, the baby's alive. I think, I think Pan, I think, uh, the dad, the colonel guy, I think he gets, um, killed by one of the ladies whose, um, brother is... The rebel, I, I don't know exactly, but, um, he dies, and he has this obsession thing where his dad, the colonel's dad, was in the army, um, he, like, whenever he got shot, mortally wounded, whatever, um, as he lay dying, he broke his watch, and basically it's supposed to be, like, the time of his death, and then just, the colonel's like, oh yeah, that's how a real man goes, you smash your fucking watch as soon as you're gonna die and if he's at an exact time of death. Wow. Um, so basically she, he's like, tell, uh, whenever he grows up, tell him, uh, the time that I died. And basically they're like, fuck no. <laughs> and yeah, she gets reunited with her, um, with her actual family. Well, I mean, she obviously, um, kind of is, uh, I mean, she's immortal. Like, obviously, like, you know, her body is, you know, mortal, but her soul, um, 
is like the soul of the um dead princess. All right, I'm gonna go. I feel like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up or a big thumbs down. Make sure to subscribe. I post videos on Mondays and Fridays, and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.